All right, so now we're making progress here. So I made it through B on my map. Now we go up into the top right and we go through C, apparently. And then from C, we... If we go down to D, it's apparently a dead end here. So maybe that'll result in, like, an item if I interact with the thing. Okay, a star piece. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. We'll put that in the item's pocket. So then we go from D here all the way around. We bring it around town and do a loop-de-loop -loop and pull. Oh, there's Team Galactic dudos and stuff. We grunts have two jobs. Play Fortnite and, one, ensure the success of our operation at the summit. Kick ass and chew gum. Accept them all out of gum. No, uh... <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna put this guidebook back on my lap and freaking pull my keyboard over here. Here's another my Team Galactic grunt. Stunky. Welp, go malos. Go do the thingy merbob. Is what you can do. Screw it, I know it's gonna be overkill, but uh... Maybe... Maybe I should have Lin up front. Because like more move uses and stuff. I should probably conserve my move uses before, you know, the stuff coming up. Yeah, apparently there's Team Galactic dudes already, but I guess that means I'm going in the right direction. I suppose. I suppose it's a good sign. I don't accept this. I will not accept this. I will not accept this L you were trying to give me. Ever seen any of those clips from Smash Ultimate where Steve players literally build their opponent an L? It's the stupidest but funniest thing. Um, still can't believe grunts of pre-evolution never bothered to evolve them. Yeah, they didn't really think outside the the box. Our time has come. It's Team Galactic's time now. Didn't really, you know, think critically a whole lot. Speaking of not thinking critically a whole lot, I got a very interesting comment on my Pokemon video essay earlier today, this morning as a matter of fact, of somebody telling me that the prices on that I listed for like the games and the services and whatnot were completely wrong and that I should actually do research instead of randomly guessing and it was like uh my guy there are other currencies than USD out there the, like the freaking <laughs> the universe does not revolve around the United States. There exist other currencies. There's other currencies, there's other time zones. There are regional differences, and my currency of Canadian dollar is different from American dollar. But the freaking things that people try to freaking gotcha me on on that video are often things like that that I just look at, and I'm just like, D do they not know that there's other types of currency out there there's other types of dollar in fact like my currency is literally called canadian dollar where am i going with this this is e and i'm going to where's g lead again that's the one that's like the dead end no wait no g can go to h f is the dead end that i can't do anything with. okay so i gotta go to up to the top left um but yeah, SMH, <laughs> yeah, oh man, they should really think about it more first than actually trying to say it. Like, it's so weird when people try to, like, leave a comment that's, like, super condescending. Like, you should actually do research before you make a video when, you know, they're the ones completely, you know, wrong in the... Okay, if I go up more, there's just a rock. So maybe there's, like, a an item there or something but yeah the music's pretty nice but yeah um repels effect wore off i guess i'll go into my bag and i'll do another one once we get it back into the cave again but yeah there's a lot of people that try to like make me look like an idiot who doesn't know at all what he's talking about and then uh well make themselves appear a certain way to say the least so i i receive a lot of very interesting comments to say the least i was recently talking about this on my on my fire emblem playthrough thing where bob dumb and don't know shit what they think they know yeah i mean there are there are some people who have like given me legitimate corrections even though that's already in the pinned comment this stuff the two things that i legitimately got wrong on that video was pokemon home does not immediately delete your pokemon after you stop paying it's after quote unquote some time whatever that means afterwards and even though I never directly said it, it was kind of implied that you wouldn't be able to have 
like all the Pokemon that were added by the DLC unless you bought the DLC, but you can still have access to them even if you don't own the DLC. And those two things I've like accounted for in the in the pinned comment and such. It was like, okay, here's stuff in the pinned comment where it's like, yeah, I, I screwed up. That was a mistake. What you gonna do? To this day, I still receive a lot of corrections for those same two things, even though <laughs> I've known about it for the past month and it's been corrected for the past month. I can't exactly just take the video down, edit it, and then put it up there again. But I've received some very, very interesting comments of like, you know, criticizing other things or, you know, just general other stuff. Like I mentioned this on my recent part of A Fire Emblem Fates, but I don't think I've, sh I don't know if I've shared it on my, on my Platinum playthrough. My favorite comment that I've ever received in my life, if I can find it. Where was it? Where was the thing? Here it is. Here it is. My favorite comment that I have ever received on my YouTube channel. I don't think that I've ever shared it during this playthrough. So for anybody that doesn't, that hasn't heard me read this out before, my favorite comment I've ever received. I get I have liked new game, but Rush product also came during the holidays and pandemic. Are you forgetting all over fucking had shut down make do didn't sick COVID-19? Baby, that can game developer then get and just so everything. The way going wailing about when people die or hospitalized makes all caps more than any wailing monster than could do any if no understanding of a fucking panademic you fuck asshole those monkey human those, those human monkey are undernourished obligations to work bloody for you panademic do actually or that too stupid and then they have followed up 20 minutes later with it takes time to human being learning operating system do any for perfect know how computer every single way no if technically you don't i am talking about the everyday person that last sentence was the freaking thing that made the most sense out of like everything but i think that is in all honesty my favorite youtube comment i've ever received in my life <laughs> like that that one needs to go on a, like a freaking plaque and uh <laughs> if I ever wind up having kids and grandkids, that's one to show to the grandkids one day. That's one to put in the freaking photo album, you know? Like, but yeah, um, people just like to really egg it on and really shove it in your face when you said that you already know about it, and that's actually really annoying if you think about it. Yeah, I've had a lot of, like, I pretty much get corrections about that. Well, some are legitimate corrections of things I've already known about, and others are, are things like the whole currency thing where it's like, Hmm, stuff like, I get a correction of some sort on a daily basis nowadays, but yeah, <laughs> what is that grammar? Okay, either they're really dumb or they're purposefully acting like that. It could have just been like a Google Translate thing. No, if it, if it was a Google Translate thing, then it couldn't possibly have like misspelled things like pandemic is panademic. Now every time I, now every time I think about the COVID-19 pandemic, I just always like think in my head, panademic, it's, <laughs> instead of pandemic. Because <laughs> I always like having joke terms for things, and I think that one comment might have inadvertently given me a joke term for pandemic. Now I call it the panademic, because it cracks me up. Um, so it couldn't have even been like a Google Translate thing, because of like all the all the typos and weird stuff. But I assume that English was in their first language. Like I assume so, and that hmm. like I I look at that and I can't help but think. Google Translate and like grammar and the way that sentences are structured would be pretty weird with something like Google Translate, but there wouldn't be freaking things like pandemic being written as panademic, so it couldn't have been. Team Galactic is all powerful, only a fool would show defiance to the mighty might of all might. Team Galactic, I've never actually seen My Hero Academia, but I know the name of that character because uh, it's something that my friends have told me about. I've never seen that freaking show before. Maybe one day. Maybe one day, but I have not seen it. Is that one of those shows that you're not allowed to say that you haven't seen on the internet? Am I now gonna freaking reap the consequences of saying that I haven't seen that? I know there's a few shows like that where you're not supposed to say that you haven't seen them. I know that another one is apparently JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which I've also never seen. Um, what are other ones that you're not allowed to say that you've never seen? I know Avatar is one of them. I remedied that by watching it for the first time last year and I actually quite enjoyed it. I actually thought it was part of schnice. Um, what are other things you're not allowed to say that you haven't seen on the internet? Hmm. 
got any ideas, Guzma, of other things you're not allowed to say that you haven't seen on the internet? What are other things? I'm sure there are some other things that I could, you know, think of. But not right now. <laughs> Can't think of them at the moment. It's super effective. Get out of here, Golbat. I've got places to be. I've I've got a freaking panadamic to avoid out here. That's what I've got. Want to learn close combat? Hmm. Um yeah, sorry. One Piece? Oh yeah, that's another good example. Another thing that I've never seen. Dragon Ball Naruto. Oh yeah, I've never seen either of those. I'll give up on close combat. I did, however, make, uh, not standing up to the mighty as foolish you say. I did, however, once make a headband of a Naruto character for a friend of mine in high school who was, quite frankly, a, uh, crazy bitch who tried to ruin my life. But, the, the long story short, um, there was this one friend I had in high school who was basically kind of like my bestie at the time, who was the kind of person who reaches out to like friends on a daily basis, like texting and stuff like that on a daily basis. Where am I going from here? I'm going around this away, I believe. Um, but, oh, maybe I can't there? Oh, I do it with the rock climb thing, Rebob. Um, and I'm not the kind of person who freaking, you know, reaches out and talks to like people through text and stuff like that on like a daily basis. Oh, I could have just gone rock climb down. But yeah, um, you've neither seen them either. Oh, what about Fortnite? Yeah, but Fortnite's one of those things where it's like, it's not expected that you've played it, it's just expected that you've heard about it, you know? Like, if you haven't heard about it, then like, what cave are you in? But, you know, it's not one of those things that it's you're expected to have, you know, been exposed to and stuff. I think that's more an internet expectation to have, you know, just known about it. But anyway, with this one person in high school, um... I wasn't the kind of person who was used to freaking reaching out and texting people on like a daily basis, just about whatever. I reach out to people when I have like something specific that I need to like address with them or some purpose. The only time that I'll just like reach out for the heck of it is if I reach out into the void in like my Discord server or something like that, and then whoever wants to respond will respond and then I'll start a conversation with them. Like I very rarely wind up reaching out to someone specifically on like a regular basis. Like I never really have with that kind of thing. But this one friend in high school interpreted that as like oh he just doesn't care about this friendship as much as I do and he's freaking just some jerk who's like trying to ignore me when it's like no that's just not what I do like I don't freaking reach out to like a specific any specific person to talk on like a freaking regular and by regular I mean daily kind of basis like that's not that's not my kind of my kind of thing there. But anyway, there was, you know, some complications in our friendship for a while because of that, because she was convinced that I didn't care about our friendship. So many times I did a lot of different acts to like prove that I cared about our friendship and such. And there was one time on the subject of Naruto that I actually wound up making, I think the character's name was Sasuke, I think, I'm not 100% certain. Um, I made this headband for this character that was apparently her favorite character in the show. I wound up getting a, a tin can of some sort that I cut open and like sprawled out to just get the metal bit. And I made like a kind of cutout thing or bob of the symbol that went on it for me to like draw onto it with Sharpie. I got some thumbtack thing or bobs to be like the little metal bits on the side and such and attached that all to like a piece of cloth and essentially made my own version of this character's headband. I don't know for sure what characters it was. I think his name was Sasuke. I think so. I've never seen Naruto before, but there was once that I made this a headband of one of the characters from the show as a gift for a friend of mine to prove that like, hey, I'm not ignoring you. I do very much care about our friendship. I just, you know, freaking have friendships in a different kind of way, I guess. I'm a different kind of, kind of person than that. But, uh, but yeah, there was that. Um, but yeah, I know you remind me about the Batman and Fortnite crossover. Wait, that was a thing that happened? Uh, Guzma, well, you're kidding there. And yeah, we're almost there. Of course, she would have been... Wait, have the Edgelord dumbass as your favorite? I haven't even seen Naruto and you know that character's an Edgelord? I don't know anything about him. Because he's the edgy, ow the edge. But yeah, my... The whole thing that happened in high school with this one person who does know about my channel. So it is freaking... It is possible that she could always, you know, watch this down the line and see me talking about her. Um, in which case, um, sorry. But stories are meant to be told. It's... <laughs> stories are meant to be told, but as things went 
as things kept on going down that line of her feeling like I didn't contribute as much to their friendship because I wasn't, like, the kind of person that, you know, was as active in that kind of thing as she was, um, things got a little bit shaky between us because she began to, like, really hate me for a while. And that only, that only got to be even more so the case after she asked me out and I turned her down, which I think I really dodged a bullet, considering that the next phase that would happen was her trying to ruin my life and turn absolutely everybody that both of us knew against me. So there was a lot of people that I knew, like there was a couple people within that kind of group who I could say like were good kind of compassionate people and stuff, but they started treating me like I was just like the worst person who ever existed. Like, I never freaking said or did anything mean or anything like that to this person. I just wasn't freaking, you know, contributing to this friendship in the same way that she was. And these people who were, like, good people would look at me like I was some freaking horrific monster who had just, like, ruined her life. And I'd just be like, to hell! So freaking high school for me sucked. Because I had this one person who already would be making fun of me a lot of the time, but essentially tried to start trying to like genuinely hurt me for a while as things got to that point where she started like really really hating me of course that was a crit um of course it would be i guess um it kind of it kind of sucked and there was a few times that i had wound up blocking her on my phone because my goodness did she like to harass me to the point that there was one time that she was playing fortnite with somebody else that i knew and she apparently got like some freaking elementary or junior high school kid to freaking text me who's again she had met on freaking Fortnite for this kid to text me and tell me to unblock her because she had something important to say to me but the important thing to say to me just wound up being like more harassment of course that would be confusing right? and I wound up blocking her again but then like two or three years or something passed and she wound up getting in contact with me again and did actually wind up apologizing to me and saying, you know what, thinking about the past, like, I do actually realize that, you know, you did actually put a lot more effort into into our friendship than I gave you credit for. And I mean, there was things I did go out of my way to freaking do, like making that headband that I spent a whole weekend working on, for example. But she wound up apologizing to me a couple of years later and said like hey i'd be honored if we could you know just be friends and that's been the way that it's been we'll talk maybe like once or twice a year we don't talk a whole lot loud nowadays but nowadays we are at least like to terms with one another essentially so that's that's uh how do we get to this subject anyway was it we got to this subject somehow. Hello, hello, Kraken. How are you doing today? Oh, yeah. It was about shows that you can't say that you've never seen, and then Naruto, and then the headband, and then my freaking high school years being a living hell. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, yeah, your fiance now, who you first knew in middle school, turned out she watched your channel, and she went to the same university as you, which was super whack. I've never met anybody in person to this day who's known about my channel, but... You know, maybe it'll happen one day, eventually. But yeah, you literally just turn it down because you didn't feel the same way towards what actually happens all the time, and people should really move on with that. It's disgusting. And hey, that's good. Glad to hear she returned and learned her lesson. Yeah, it does sound like things have, you know, really turned around for her, and that she does handle things much more surely, from what I hear. I haven't met her since then. Like, once COVID is, like, done for, then maybe we'll wind up seeing one another on campus. I believe we go to the same university. But, like, you know, it's been a... It's been a very long time, and it was a, you know quite interesting, quite interesting journey to say the least. By interesting, I mean awful. Um, okay, we're almost there. We are almost at the freaking thing, Rabob. We got some more grunts to fight and stuff. But yeah, uh, you've worked so hard to get here. You should be proud of yourself. And Allison, you're packing home with only that happy thought. I can probably close up this guidebook. I need another bookmark. I have, I keep a roll of paper towels on my freaking thing, Rabob, here because I like to eat food down here while I'm working on stuff. So I'm just gonna take off a paper towel and put it as my diamond and pearl bookmark as well. We've got two guidebooks here now that I'm using. I should be able to find the rest of my way on my own and such. But yeah, so I'm the kind of person who like contributes to friendships I have with people in a very different kind of way. Like, for example, there's a lot of streamer friends of mine that have received art from me, for example. Like, I, I show, you know, my connections with people and my friendship with people more oftentimes through actions rather than rather than words and whatnot. That's the whole reason I'm doing this whole Mad Lad May event of taking game requests from some of y'all Mad Lads because I freaking express my appreciation for people much better with with actions rather than words. That's just the kind of kind of person that I am. I struggle to express how I feel sometimes, and I'm not the kind of person who 
talks to people a whole lot or goes out of my way to like start conversations super duper super duper often and stuff like that uh, even if she did apologize though would still be cautious anyway yeah and i was for a good while but like we talk maybe once or twice a year so like it's not like she's still out to ruin my life i hope <laughs> i think i hope i mean there was this one time in my very early days of streaming i think this was but was it i think it was sometime after that whole the whole apology and stuff where she did want like one last thing of freaking making me hate myself my very first playthrough i ever did on this channel kirby star allies um she stopped in and brought a quote-unquote friend that was probably just her on an alternate account freaking making fun of me at every turn like oh you died in a kirby game that's just sad stuff like that and i think that was the first person i ever banned from the channel was that was that account there that was claimed to be just a just some friend of hers but was probably her on an alternate account i've never accused her of it but i feel like in the back of my mind that to my freaking first playthrough i ever did on this channel of kirby star allies the last couple parts of that became freaking awful with person here that i didn't ban sooner because it was apparently friend of sec said person who's who's a friendo but i should have just banned like way 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 earlier and i'm convinced that it was an alternate account and i should probably save and then we'll go through there and do story stuff but since then nothing has happened since that one thing nothing has happened and you know i i probably should have confronted her about that but at this point it was three years ago and again we talked like maybe once or twice a year so i I think she's past freaking getting a high off of ruining my life. So, <laughs> there's that. Uh, where is the medicine here? Do I have a super potion? Where would it be? Did I run out of super potions? There's max potion. Is there a sort button? There's hyper potions. We have a bunch of regular potions. I'm needed to do a co-op summon right now. And Dark Souls, gotcha, gotcha. Well, appreciate it, Modest. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna burn through a bunch of regular potions like that. To top up our thingamabobs. Yeah, there we go. You ready for our big climax and stuff? I love how our freaking big climax of this game is going to be after giving that story. I've probably told that story before on this channel. It's not one that I get into very often. Because, you know, most stories that I tell are, like, fun, happy kind of stories of things that have happened. It's usually not serious stuff like that. But somehow we got to talking about that because we talked about shows that you can't say that you haven't watched before. And then to freaking Naruto. And then that. And then, yeah. So, <laughs> time for the climax. Let's go. 